हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सैम किचन टुडे लेट्स प्रिपेयर करेला सब्जी रेसिपी फॉर दैट वी आर टेकिंग अ करेला व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज अ बिटर मेलन बिटर स्क्वैश इन हिंदी इट इज नोन एज करेला सो लेट्स चॉप द करेला एंड रिमूव द सीड्स in order to reduce the bitterness of the bitter gourd you may sprinkle salt to the sliced pieces and rest for 30 minutes so i'm doing the same process here well bitter gourd curry more commonly known as karela sabzi in hindi is a semi dried side dish where sliced or chopped bitter gourd is cooked Now I'm sprinkling some salt. Resting for thirty minutes. Later on, I'll drain the unwanted water and wash it and use for the curry. Let's chop the onion. I've taken here one medium-sized onion. Despite of its bitter taste, I mean the bitter gourd's bitter taste, like many other foods that sting our taste buds, pack a ton of nutrients. This vegetable, the scaly green exterior, is great for controlling blood sugar levels naturally. So, one is diabetic. Let them make it more bitter. Let them not wash with the salt the reason is that the bitterness is mainly due to the presence of alkaloids whenever we keep washing it and uh, sprinkling the sodium chloride nothing but uh, salt common salt it will remove almost alkaloid that means it is removing most of the medicinal properties of the karela or uh, bitter gourd So look at this stage here. This is the bitterness. I'm removing it. Here for the sweetness of karela, I'm using one onion, a grated coconut. If required, you can add one piece of jaggery, a little tamarind pulp. So let's start the preparation here. A typical tempering with the mustard seeds. cumin seeds curry leaves nothing but a small tadka indian tadka when the oil is hot here let's add the spices now let's add the uh, cumin seeds mustard with the curry leaves i'm also adding ginger finely chopped ginger then goes with the chopped onion at this stage we'll add uh, a little bit of uh, turmeric as well as salt saute it during this process also known as tempering or a tadka which extracts and enhances the flavor of your dish giving them a classic indian taste with an amazing aroma too so at this stage i'm going to add as a fetida it's ma- it's uh, as per your requirement and uh, turmeric then goes as usual with the kashmiri chili I 
I have added your basin powder which is really acting as a binding agent and uh, for the taste I have added a salt. So in all the thadka process I am using a coconut oil here. So coconut oil which increases the good cholesterol it, and a grated coconut is high in fiber and low in carbohydrates so it helps in controlling the blood sugar level as well as karela is absolutely which is helpful in diabetic this is overall a good healthy recipe see i was speaking about a tadka here when we are adding the spices into the hot oil especially the coconut oil or whatever the common oil you are using for the tadka during those process antioxidant anti inflammatory antimicrobial which boost the immunity detoxes because it releases some chemicals which is really helpful for the overall well being of a person so i'm adding a bit quantity of uh, tamarind pulp in this stage either either you can add water or if not required just you are applying see now i have added a bit quantity of a jaggery crushed in a mortar and pestle so here i am going to add water this you can skip either in spite if you want to make it still more dry here you can just uh, fry it in between you can sprinkle some water or splash some water so since i'm using for the rice here this comes out good with the rotis rice and all so this is after cooked let's keep for some more time this is finally cooked the recipe now you can add a grated coconut after this you can uh, boil for a minute or a 2 minute here again the grated i mean the grated coconut enhances the sweetness of the curry so i have finished almost all the process now it's time for plating and yes this is a karela recipe and if you like my videos please do support keep subscribing keep subscribe my video and share it thank you so much for watching